Because the A's are in a binding agreement with Red Rock Casinos to purchase this land and develop a 30 to 35,000 seat stadium here. And I haven't heard any excitement from anyone as to this site. Except maybe that there's an in-out burger right across the street, which for me, yeah. <laughs> these years all these west coast have been telling us you have to try in out burger it's the greatest burger it ever was so we're trying it i mean you've got to come back with me where Back to the future! future. Well, it's finally come to this. The clickbait video of all clickbait videos. The New Yorker in Vegas trying an out burger on camera. Let's see if my opinion that it's meh will hold up or if my mind and opinion will be blown out of the water, changed and improved. Let's get into it. Get it in. Yeah, let's go. All right, well, it's finally happening. I'm finally having an out burger for a review. I can't believe it's finally come to this, but I need the views, right? All right, so let's get the basics out of the way. So, I came to the one on Sahara, not too far from the Strip, at the plazas. My Uber driver over said that this was one of the best locations in Vegas, so I'm excited to try it. Very clean in there. I uh, have to give a huge thumbs up to that. Very clean inside and out burger. And the service was impeccable. Super nice, very quick as far as taking the order goes. The amenities are great. They have very clean soda station, ketchup station, bag station with the ketchup, uh, a waiting seating bench area, very clean for everybody. Um, the working space looked large and not super cramped for the workers there, which I appreciate. I've got worked at McDonald's myself uh, as a teenager. Uh, I very, very much appreciate a cleanly and spacious and not too hot and cramped and dangerous working environment. What I ordered, the most popular thing that was recommended was the double-double with onions. That was the thing that was, ooh, the birds are coming for me. Along with the animal fries and a Coke. So how much did it cost? Very cheap at 1241. dollars Sad that that's now considered cheap nowadays for, for um, fast food, but it is what it is. The wait was about like seven, eight minutes, but that's okay because that means it was made with quality and made to order. And now, the most important thing of all, the taste. My ass is burning. Here we go. Mm. <coughs> I'm trying to have an open mind here. Never liked an out burger before. Very, two patties. Here we go. following the instructions for people who know. It's uh, all right, let me have an animal fry. Hmm. The taste is, I'm gonna dip this. It's definitely the best thing that's ever tasted. I've had it in Vegas, I've had it in California. Never been impressed before. How do you eat these animal fries? I've never liked the fries here before. But this, which seems to have almost like a Big Mac sauce on it, melted cheese, bacon bits. It's pretty tasty. It's pretty, pretty darn tasty. Still very soggy though. The fries are soggy. There's almost a dryness I find to the bread here. 
Like almost crunchy, like not. I don't know. It's like so flaky. You see how flaky it is? I don't like that. I like it to be moist, more moist. Work. Perfect. It's not going to be toasted up on the grill and soft. I don't know, I'm a sucker for like potato buns. I got to move angles. It's getting hot. All right, I moved angles because my ass was like on fire. You know that song, this girl's on fire, his ass is on fire. So you're not gonna have the cool background. I'm littering. Piggies up, bitches. All right, so the fries are so soggy to me. In the past though, when I've had them without the animal fries, it's been kind of like, almost like it's still frozen, right? So this is definitely an improvement. The burger's an improvement. This is definitely the way to get it. I mean, just getting a regular cheeseburger, whatnot, and a regular fries, don't do that. You gotta get the double-double with the onions, or, or without the onions. I'd probably not get it with the onions, again, but had to do it the right way this time. And definitely get the animal fries. It's definitely worth it. Uh, Dangly dangly. That's a crispy burger. Even the meat is crispy. Hmm. Don't love that. Fucking mess over here. Yeah, the animal fries is all about the toppings. It's not about the fries. The fries. The fries are like when I was a kid. I would make frozen fries. And I would cook them too long. My mom would get upset. It's kind of like soggy. But what can you do? Yeah. Okay. I find the taste to be very, very bland. Tastier than I've had it before. Bland. All right, so the in-out karma god's gonna say that I'm getting what I deserve because the microphone wasn't fully plugged in for the last bit I did, so. Here are my final thoughts. Uh, this burger isn't for me. Look, I love the way I've been told that the company treats their employees. Apparently they treat them very well, and I'm all for that. I love that. Kudos to, to and out for how they treat everyone. Again, I love it. From the outside looking at it, it like the working space was a positive one and uh, and clean and safe, and that's huge in my book. But the taste of it, it's just, it's just not for me. I think Five Guys is better, Shake Shack's better, McDonald's is better, Burger King is better. Not Wendy's, this is a little better than Wendy's. But I would seek out White Castle before this. Probably that's the East Coast serving me. And that's what my theory is. That's where my theory lies. And it's completely non-scientific and 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 like probably you know fake science. But I think that where you grow up and the tap water where you grow up forms your taste buds. It changes your taste buds, it formulates your palate and and what you find to be scrumptious. There's a reason why on the East Coast we don't know good Mexican food. They do here but we know great pizza and bagels and, and burgers and they don't here. And there's just things that most East Coasters like that most West Coasters don't and vice versa. And some things do unite us, uh, but I do think tap water formulates your palate. And my tap water palate from New York City does not like this burger. I can't recommend the taste. I will not seek this out in the future. Um, it is better than I've had it before, but don't hate me. I have an open mind. I really, really tried. Uh, I don't even get cheese whiz on my cheesesteaks back east, but this is just basically, you know, it's already, it's just, ugh, it's just so, ew, it's like rubbery. Ew. <sighs> sorry, sorry, West, sorry all my West Coast friends. Look, the birds are probably gonna eat me. And the audio didn't come on the last one, so clearly karma is getting me good. So I'll, I'll I'll end it there. Thank you for the recommendations. I do appreciate it, and I really gave it a shot. It is what it is, and what it is is a place I will be out, not in from. <laughs> but was it made with love? As the great Alessia Car would ask. Yes. Uh, everyone was really awesome in there, and it was made to order, and it wasn't this like cheap, quick assembly line of crap like at McDonald's or someplace else. It, it was made with with attention, so I give kudos to that. Anyway, so please like this video, share it, tell me in the comments below how stupid I am for not liking it, or how 
how smart I am. Let's have an East Coast, West Coast fight. Ding, ding, ding. That's all I'm gonna say. East Coast, West Coast, scissor, giggity. Tell me in the comments, and most importantly, please subscribe because we're still Mission Montage, a few days left, and if we don't make it by then, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all for watching. I love you all for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next one, and I am in and out. Two five guys. Not today, but in the future. I'm not that fat. Close though. All right. Later. I have a massive ass tummy ache now. And why did I do this to myself? Why? For you, that's why. For all you West Coasters I've pissed off over the last year. Bashing it out. You happy to see me in pain? Are you enjoying this, you masochist? Never again. Thank <laughs> you.